Welcome to the tips on how to make your flag decorations. First, let's start with the pin. Go ahead and grab out all the safety pins and I would put the beads either on a placemat or into a bowl like you've seen. Start with the first of the beads and we're gonna do red and white. Red, white, red, white, all the way through until you get kind of close to the end where you can close it. And you're gonna do this four more times. You can see here the number of pins as I continue my pattern. And we keep on going with a red, white, red, white, red, white, red. And we get on to our fourth and final. And then you can slide it onto the larger safety pin. Now we'll start with the remaining three mini safety pins. Start with three blues. So we got one, two, and three. And then we'll move on to our next colors white, red, and white again, and ending off with red. Close that off and continue with the next one. Same sort of a pattern. Do that for the remaining two, three of them, I should say. And now that you have all that completed, those will be the last on and that'll represent the stars part of the pin. Enjoy. Next, the flag decoration. This is a bonus. So go ahead and take all your pieces out and starting with the foam stars, you're gonna go four in a row. I like to um, kind of separate them out and kind of get my mindset on the spacing. So I started with my corners and I built up if you make a mistake, they do come off um, kind of simply. You just got to carefully tear it up and just continue making your rows four by four. Hey, that's an array. Have you learned about arrays in school? Four by four makes what? 16. Great job. Now moving on to the red squares, the little foam squares. Go ahead and peel them off. And you're going to go ahead and put them across. Again, I kind of did my edges first and worked in. It kind of helps me with figuring out my spacing. And moving on to the smaller white stripe, you'll find that seven across seems to be the magic number. And continue on for the rest of these shorter rows. Eventually, you'll get yourself to the longer rows. And you'll do the same thing across the longer rows, working straight across, and this time it'll be 14 across. It's fairly simple, and I hope you're enjoying placing these stars and stripes strategically on your decoration. What's nice is it also comes with a blue strap and some rectangle pieces that you can adhere the back strap on for hanging. And there you have it, my friends. Happy Memorial Day. You'll find you can also use this for the 4th of July.